one of my first tools I made. Now, move this lever back. Get their spindle going. We'll pick up the speed here in a second. show you what I did. This I think is pretty well centered. I'll run that center out there. I think that's pretty centered. I should be anyway. With my center finding device there. And I'll show you what else I did. I, uh, I set up a dial indicator here. And I knew how many thousands I had to go, so I zeroed this off. And here, I don't know if you'll be able to see this or not, but there's a veneer scale here. Uh, and then, on the crank handle, it's 250 thousands per rev. So each one revolution here is a quarter of an inch. And in between lines is four thousandths. So that gets a little tricky. So I did it this way with my dial indicator here. So I knew what I was doing for sure. And then I could double check with my veneer caliper or my veneer scale on this side to get me centered to the centered to the table with the spindle going to do is uh, I have a shaft that we're going to mount on here and I do have I do have the uh, table zero down to 90 degrees here also so we're going to have to mount a shaft in here and do some turning on the outside of the shaft it's my plan anyway Okay, so I got my part lined up in here. Got it clamped down good. And uh, got it dialed in. I've been doing some cutting on it. Got that all working. To uh, dial it in, I put the chuck into the spindle here. Like that. And then I put, I put this into the chuck. See that part there went into the chuck and I have the dial indicator there and I swept that around the outside of that uh, wheel, hub, guess whatever you want to call it. And that's how I dialed it in perfectly. So now let's uh, do a little turning. I'm going to take about 90 thousandths off here so first we get the spindle going. Thank 
just about done with the cut. Okay, there we're done. Now we're going to stop our feed. And we'll stop the spindle. And I like to stop it with that up. A little too far. Back up. Stop it about there. Then I can kick this lever down. That puts uh, the spindle in neutral. And I turn the drive back on. Now we can wrap it out of there. And we're ready to set up and make another cut. Thanks for watching.